Hello everyone and welcome to another BCP library video. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some really easy autumn crafts. So I'm going to show you how you can make this leaf hedgehog picture with some leaves that you find on the ground lying around because there are a lot of falling leaves at the moment. And I'm also going to show you how to make this cute little fox puppet slash bookmark that you just use your hand and add the face on top and it's really really cool. And also I'm going to show you how to make these little conker creatures because there are a lot of conker on the ground at the moment so we're going to be making this little caterpillar and just decorating them and having lots of fun so let's just get straight into the video so first of all I'm going to show you how to make this hedgehog so you just need a piece of paper and we're going to draw the hedgehog's body first so we're going to draw a little circle like that for the nose and I'm going to just mark out a highlight for the nose because I like to do that and then we're going to go all the way up and over like this and then all the way background joining to the little circle so it's kind of like an egg with a little triangle at the end and now we're going to draw an eye because the hedgehog needs to see so we're going to draw the pupil and again I'm going to do a highlight and I'm just going to color it all in black leaving a little bit of white to give it that little bit of a shiny highlight and I'm going to do exactly the same with the nose so there is my hedgehog's eye little eyebrow a little smiley face because he's a happy little hedgehog and now I'm just going to colour in the nose of my black pen you don't have to use a pen if you only have a pencil that's absolutely fine or you can use a felt tip pen a crayon you can use whatever you have I'm just using a black pen so you can see what I'm doing on camera and of course if you ever need to pause the video at any point because you need to catch up with what I'm saying or you need to replay bits feel free to do that because that is the beauty of watching a video so I'm just finishing off the nose just colouring in the nose all black and then I'm going to add some little feet to my hedgehog because he, he's not floating in the air we're just gonna add a couple of little feet just like this there we go there's one and then there's two so now I'm just going to colour him in, I'm just using my wax crayons, giving him a little cheek and just colouring the whole thing in a light brown colour and I'm doing this before I stick my leaves on because it's so much easier to do before you stick your leaves on than afterwards but you can colour it with whatever you want, you can maybe even paint it if you want to, you can use felt tip pens, colouring pencils, crayons, whatever you have at home is absolutely fine and you don't even have to colour it brown, you can colour it a crazy colour or you can colour it rainbows, this is your hedgehog and it's totally up to you and I'm just adding some grass underneath his feet because he's not floating he's definitely on the ground so now you need to get your leaves and you can just pick up some leaves from around about your garden or maybe on your walk to school just make sure that you maybe give them a little bit of a wash first and you get an adult to help you because you don't want to pick up anything bad and you just need to get some glue and just stick them all over the body of your hedgehog leaving the face free like I've done here so you can see his face poking out from all the leaves and there are lots of coloured leaves at the moment so I got some green yellow ones and some red ones and I think this is a very creative way to make an autumn picture with some leaves it's very very easy and I do have a couple of pretend leaves as well that I've added because I didn't quite pick up enough leaves when I was out on my walk but that's absolutely fine so this is my little hedgehog and I'm very very pleased with him I think he's very very cute and now it's your turn to see what you can make at home and maybe you don't even want to do a hedgehog you could do some other animals maybe you could do a bird or whatever you would like to do So now we're going to make the little fox and what you need for this is you need to draw around your hand on a piece of card. I have a blue piece of card because that's all I have at home but you can use whatever you want to and you might not have some drawing card you can maybe just use a cereal packet and stick some white paper on that's absolutely fine. So once I drew around my hand I coloured the whole hand orange because I'm making a fox and just coloured the tips of my fingers kind of where I put my fingernails I'm going to do them brown and then on the thumb I left the tail white because that is the tail and foxes have white tails so now we're going to draw a fox so you first of all I'm doing the face like this that's the shape like that kind of an arch and then joining it together then a nose in the middle two lines curved like that a little smile and two eyes like this and then two triangles 
like that for the ears and now I just need to color him in there we go he's all colored in and once you have colored in your face and your hand you just need to cut them out you don't have to do a fox but I thought a fox was a nice autumn animal and it has four legs so it worked quite nicely with my hand so once you have cut out your hand you turn it upside down and then glue the face on like this so the hand becomes the body of the fox with the tail as the thumb and also the four legs as the fingers and you can then walk your fox about or you could even use it as a bookmark by putting the legs in between your pages So now I'm going to show you how you can make these little conker creatures. So what you need to do is first of all collect some conkers and they fall from horse chestnut trees and you might want to get an adult to help you to show you where you can find them and also give them a wash once you pick them up off the ground. So I've got some googly eyes that I'm sticking onto this one but if you don't have any googly eyes you can just draw your eyes on, that works just as well. And I've got a little bit of felt that I've cut out into a tongue shape because this is going to be a little creature sticking his tongue out and you need some PVA glue just spread a bit onto the felt onto the place where you want to stick it and then you can just glue that onto the conker and the glue should stick absolutely fine PVA glue will be strong enough for this especially if you are using felt but you can also use paper or foam or whatever you have lying around if you don't have any felt so here is my little tongue I've also used a gel pen to draw some teeth and a metallic gel pen works really really well for this because it shows up really nicely so now I'm making my little caterpillar and I've got about three or four little conkers and I've stuck some eyes on the first one and I'm just cutting out some feet to stick on each of the conkers and I'm going to line them up in a row to make a nice friendly little caterpillar so again I'm using my PVA glue sticking it onto the edge of the felt like this and then putting it underneath like so there we go and then I've done that for all each of them and I've just alternated the colours to make it look bright and then I'm drawing on some features with my silver gel pen like this just drawing his little antenna and I'm going to add some markings too, going to give him a little mouth and adding some little dots to the top just to brighten it up and make it a little bit more interesting. So there is my little caterpillar. And you can also just decorate them if you want to. You don't have to stick anything on. I've just written my name on one with a nice silver gel pen and I've just added some patterns onto this one. So you can be as creative as you like with your conquer decorations. You can make whatever creatures you like. You can stick on whatever you find at home. Maybe you want to add some leaves on instead of some felt. It's totally up to you. These are just my conquer creatures. So that's all for this video. I hope you feel inspired to make some autumn crafts yourself. You don't have to follow exactly what I've done. You can just use these as some ideas for yourself. But now it's your turn to maybe go and collect some leaves or some conkers and maybe make your own little hand autumn animal. But that is all for the video. It's now over to you.